Hey, what's up guys? Beastango6 here. Welcome back to one of my videos. And now we're going to talk about why angle on the bow is difficult to understand. Okay. Um, the way it was normally taught to me was, um, well, we all know what first person is. It's, it's looking out the eyes of the, uh, the character in your video game, you know, kind of like Call of Duty. Um, we know what third person is. Uh, if you ever use external camera, then in, in Silent Hunter, then you know what a third person view is. It's like over the shoulder or, or looking all around. But the way I was taught years ago about angle on the bow was second person view, which is very abstract for some people. The idea is I'm supposed to imagine now here, if you look to the right here, I got my little, my little enemy boat in red up here. I got my little, my little U boat in blue down here. I'm supposed to imagine myself sitting in the center of the enemy boat. Now that's the idea. Okay, and I'm looking straight down, down the bow, all right? And now I'm supposed to turn my head and, imagine, and look at my U-boat, and then whatever this angle is, that's your AOB. That's your A-O-B, okay? That's a terrible AOB, but hey, you get the idea. So the idea was you, took, you look to the right, and then that's how many degrees starboard, the angle on the bow is for the ship. Now, for some people, that's very easy. Not all people can visualize that. It's difficult, right? So I've never done it this way because I always found it difficult, and I always tend to launch my torpedo the wrong way. I don't know why. It's just it's it's one of those things where it's like why you miss. Um, so I'm gonna do something different here. So hold on, let me. Um, All right, we're going to do that here. We're going to move it up just a little bit. Now, here's my little destroyer. He, 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 and we're going to pretend that... Whoops. Sorry about that. We're looking straight at him. Now, when I look at him, when this is how I do my angle on the bow. I'm looking at this bridge, at this, this tower. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. I don't care about anything else. I don't. I don't care, but to imagine myself sitting on the boat it, to me, that's just difficult. So what I do is I imagine I'm staring at the bridge, and then wherever the bow is pointed, that is what I am trying to. Whatever that's pointed, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's the angle. So for me, this angle is is it's just it's from here to here, I try to figure out what my angle on the bow is right here, okay? Now, for some of you, you might be thinking, well, that's crazy because you're probably one of these guys, but for me, I've always looked at the, at the angle on the bow literally from where I'm staring at the boat in my scopes or on my UZO or my periscope, okay? This is how I look at the angle on the bow, and the way I imagine it too is here, let me, let me help you with this. Let's get some shapes here. Whoops, hold on, sorry. Like in my last video with the why we miss, okay. Okay. Let's fill that in. So, fill. I'll do this in real time right in front of you. Look at this. Okay. We also have a TDC, uh, an angle on the bow indicator in our, usually in our view in our periscope, right? And you can literally change this as you see fit. All right. Um, how am I going to do this here? Let's do another 2D shape. So this, the, the needle always points down. Excuse me, I'm stuttering today. So my needle always points down right for my angle on the bow this is zero at the bottom where 180 degrees is at the top and the way i also take this is as i'm looking at the boat i just simply do this i mean watch this i just turn it it's more than this let's see hold on let me do that again one more time so what i do is i turn my dial my aob dial to where i see the boats, uh, uh, that bow, right where that split is in the bow. You see what I'm talking about? Literally, your AOB, 
marker can be a perfect rendition of what you see in the scope. It can be a perfect like like uh, double image here. It's 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 so easy. Like so, people try to calculate. They try to use math and all that stuff. And you could you can do all that. But, um, I mean, you're, you shouldn't be firing at a long range, and, and this guy should be close anyway if you're going to fire at him. And here, I, I can figure out AOB just by looking at this. I don't need to see what this is. But I'm already thinking it's under 30 degrees just by what I wrote or what I drew here. Okay, so the reason why angle on the bow is so difficult, the whole purpose of this video was to show you that is because some people don't always see it as you looking out from the boat here. Some people would rather see it like this, and you just don't know it. If you try looking at the angle on the bow like this, it may actually help you. I hope this video kind of gives you a little idea of how I see the boats, and maybe this will help you visualize it a little bit better in the future.